Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, today I have some new perfumes for you guys. It's a, a brand new haul. Some of them are, of course, uh, uh, sent by PR by some companies, and the others are fresh buys from myself. I'm trying to stick to doing only five perfumes at a time because the, per the video becomes a little too long and then it kind of gets difficult for me to edit because I can't focus and also I think for you guys like instead of seeing like so many perfumes together and taking notes it would be easier to just involve like five perfumes or so. So let's start with the first one which was like the most anticipated uh, video from you guys. You guys have been asking me if I've already got it and yes I have. This is the Khamra Kahwa, which is from Latafa. Now, Kahwa is basically Arabic coffee. Uh, it's, there's a certain way different people make it, but um, the way like we make it over here, as in sometimes you get these Kahwa mixes ready from the roastery. So we normally just get it from there. But it has like a couple of spices as well, like cinnamon, cardamom in the, uh, it, along with the coffee grounds. Normally this coffee is brewed in a metal pot uh, that's like kind of like you have a specific pot similar to the Turkish uh, coffee thingy. Some people also put ginger while making the coffee, while boiling the coffee. Once it's ready you just pour in, you normally don't add sugar. You can add sugar but uh, what we do over here is uh, you take a sip of the coffee, the kahwa and you take a bite of date and that's how it's had usually and most of the places you go to like as an invitation as like an opening drink or welcoming drink like normally they give you they serve you kahwa in this little cup and that's it's quite strong so that little bit is enough but you take pick a date they give you this kahwa and then you just have it with a bite of date so let me like not talk about the gahwa more than the <laughs> perfume. This is the box. It's very similar to the old box of uh, Khamra. They are like identical. Mm. Why am I holding it like this? Okay, like that. And the bottle as well is the same. So that's your packaging. Take it out like that. Your reflective uh, background, just like the Khamra original. And that's your bottle. So it just has this little dark ombre at the bottom compared to the original Khamra. I think I answered mostly everybody who asked me in the comments to say ask what this smells like. It smells like the original Khamra along with the Gahwa notes. Kahwa, Gahwa, many people call it like, yeah, it's either say they pronounce it like Kahwa or Gahwa. But uh, according to the box, it's kahwa. Now, it smells exactly like the original khamra, but with some kahwa notes. It's a stunning perfume. Like, let me just say that right from the beginning. It has the original DNA of uh, khamra, and you can clearly smell it. But then it has the cinnamon, uh, cardamom, you know, all these spices along with that coffee note, which is not very overwhelming. And I like that because if you remember, I bought that uh, French coffee perfume from Al Rehab and I've never worn it and I know I told you guys that I will try and do uh, some um, layering videos for that so that you can actually get use out of it but I never did it but you know what I'm going to do in today's video I'm going to spray Khamra along with uh, the French coffee and I'm going to compare it to the Kahwa although I don't think it's going to be the same result because this one does have the spices. This is classified as a gourmand fragrance. It's definitely gourmand. It's going to be perfect to wear during colder months. On Fragrantica, it's already got 4.29 and I'm, and I reckon that it's going to be like the points are only going to increase. Like when people try it, like if you have never had kahwa in your life, like just have it at least once, you know, I think you can get order the pre mixes on Amazon and stuff. The top notes for this are ginger, cinnamon and cardamom, middle notes of praline, candied fruits and white flowers and the base notes of coffee, tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla and musk. Honestly speaking, I can't smell the white flowers and everything but that might just be in the background. Also the candied fruits and everything, it's adding a little sweetness but the sweetness is more like praline and vanilla and not the, the uh, fruits. Now the coffee note is there but it's not like so overpowering that you will smell like a barista and that's what I like about this perfume because I do not want to smell like a barista. I do like the coffee note but in moderation and quite honestly speaking like when it gets very overwhelming you don't really enjoy the coffee note do you you know. The dry down is exactly like Khamra with some uh, uh, coffee notes 
and they're very very close guys but let me like just do a side by side comparison so you have khamra this side and you have khamra kahwa this side like the original khamra is very fresh it smells more fruity it smells more like fresh and uplifting while the other one is clearly this perfume but it has the kahwa note and trust me when you sniff it it smells exactly like kahwa like if you ever drink kahwa you will remember my words when i'm saying right now that this perfume smells exactly like kahwa with some fresh notes and i am absolutely loving this perfume i'm sure ali is going to love it is it like redundant to buy both no you you if you like notes like this you need to have khamra and you need to have the khamra kahwa because it is a stunning perfume and they definitely don't smell alike like side by side it smells like two different perfumes but with the same uh, base dna it's quite soft it's not very cloying or you know the moment i was afraid of that honestly speaking because like the last time i smelled french coffee i got a little traumatized <laughs> because like you know the whole day i couldn't get it off me and even after taking a bath it was not coming off so i was a little like concerned i'm like oh my gosh like like what if people like do not like the smell of coffee and you're around them you know and even if it's bothering me and i'm a heavy coffee drinker right like i drink coffee like three times a day black black and strong you know <laughs> but this is like a super pretty fragrance it's very 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 uplifting as well the bottle is absolutely stunning i mean like come on look at that it's but you know the whole thing of like khamra khamra in arabic means uh, alcohol so it doesn't smell like alcoholic coffee that's for sure you know khamra i guess they named it because they used the base notes or the dna of uh, khamra and then they added the kahwa notes it is definitely unisex i got it for us dollars 30 which is like not bad at all and for me this is like a 10 out of 10 fragrance like in this genre like of coffee this probably is my favorite fragrance as of now It has a mild Middle Eastern uh, scent, although like um, I guess because of the spices and um, doesn't have oud or anything, but it just has those spices which are generally associated with Arabic perfumes, you know. So it's leaning mildly towards being a Middle Eastern perfume. The longevity is like a two feet, two and a half feet, depending on how much you spray. If you spray more, of course, it's going to project more. And the longevity, I got it like for six hours. and it was quite diminished after that so i would definitely have to respray this perfume at least every 4 hours for it to actually be like projecting to that extent and smelling like kahwa you know and not becoming an intimate intimate scent and the celebrity i want to assign this to like i don't know why these western movies came to mind so i'm going to give this to clint eastwood now if you guys are thinking oh my gosh she is associated this with clint eastwood that means this is a masculine fragrance no it's not it's a very unisex it's like right in the middle you know so i would not say it's even leaning masculine it's very unisex in my opinion but if you're not very fond of very spicy fragrances that are a little boozy and smell like coffee you're not going to like it so just read the notes it's it smells exactly like the notes this is like probably the first time i've actually smelled something and i'm like yeah it smells like the notes you know Next up is one from Khadlaj. Now this was a PR and this is not a very expensive perfume but I was so happy to receive this because when I saw the packaging honestly I was like oh my gosh it's going to be just another floral. This is Nuha wait yeah it's Nuha or the parfum by Khadlaj. Now the packaging is like very basic and of course because it's priced at such a low price point I didn't I didn't expect it to come in like a very fancy box. but would you look at the gorgeous bottle how pretty is this now when i took this out i was like uh oh <laughs> you know what i'm going to say right like i was like oh my gosh this is going to be lychee rhubarb like in my head i was like uh already like kind of like by the way i'm not selecting these perfumes although i can like they've told me i can select my perfumes the ones i want to review but this she sent it to me as a surprise bushra my friend by the way she's going to make an appearance very soon in my videos so stay tuned for that and you can directly ask her questions and everything regarding khadlaj but she sent me this because we were having like a perfume discussion and then i told her how much i like alien goddess and <laughs> Guys, she sent me this as a surprise and it was a surprise indeed. This is that vacation um coconutty vacation uh, perfume. It goes in the same range as um Coco Vanille Utopia by uh, um Kiali and uh, of course the Alien Goddess. Now on paper it smells really different because it's giving me a very strong apple note. 
Now, usually the other perfumes, they don't have the apple note, but they have the coconut. They have like normally like a ylang ylang or a jasmine or another white flower to give it that creamy note. But on the skin, it smells so tropical. It's such a beautiful tropical fragrance. Let me tell you the notes for this. So this is classified as an amber floral. The top notes are apple and coconut. And that's what you get instantly. On spray, you will recognize the apple and you'll recognize like a creamy coconut. The middle notes are jasmine, heliotrope and rose. Now jasmine is quite like prominent in this heliotrope sort of. But rose, it's merely there to add a little bit of interest or like a little bit of darkness. But honestly, like I can't smell rose individually on this. And the base notes, of course, are sandalwood, cashmere and vanilla. All the creamy, all the sweet notes like are there in the base. And once this initial apple coconut thing goes away, by the way, like honestly, like because there's so many different variants of Alien Goddess and um, I've got a couple of perfumes, by the way, I'm going to try because I have decided to do, do the Western Wednesdays as suggested by, I'm going to like try and put her name over here. How sweet of you to suggest that name for me. But Western Wednesdays is like a perfect name for it. And I'm going to try and do three videos from now onwards. So two will be Middle Eastern and on Wednesdays you'll see a... Uh, western fragrance i might not be very regular with those because mainly i buy middle eastern fragrances but you'll see some western perfumes as well now if you like like a creamy coconut vacation in a tropical country like a maldives place or uh, seychelles or bora bora this is your baby like instantly you're gonna love it because it gives you that freshness that active nature that you want in your vacation you definitely when you go to a tropical place you do want to like rest and everything but you do want to go swimming you want to explore the islands and everything and this is so uplifting this is like deviating slightly from those dna's where you feel this creamy floral coconut thing going on and you just want to go and relax this one is like the same but with that apple uplifting note and this apple is like a Fiji apple you know it's not like a crisp apple Fiji apple is the only apple I can have by the way I cannot have any other apple I don't like the crispy apples if you're my OG follower you know that already but in this I'm just loving it and I am so happy because this perfume is ridiculously priced it's so inexpensive for the quality of the perfume and I'm absolutely stunned by the bottle it is so pretty you know it's like gorgeous I know many bottles come with this cap but like I like it and it's so heavy and it's not really pink. Actually, the color in the camera is not bad. It's like it's like a peachish color, you know. Now, this uh, retails for only $25. <laughs> it's a extremely feminine scent. So I would not like expect a man to wear this. This is like spring, summer for sure. This is, uh, you can wear it in winter as well, but during daytime. The Middle Eastern vibe check is zero. It's none. The projection is like two feet. Like any of the other, this coconut uh, uh, perfumes, unless you keep spraying it again and again, then of course it's going to project more and more. But two feet is like a safe uh, range to give it. And the longevity is another six hours, I would say. And then I would want to respray it. I definitely would be respraying this every four hours. Like this is... Like normally I do spray my fragrances like every four hours unless it's a very weak perfume then every two hours or so. But this one will last you a six, a good six hours. I'm going to give this perfume a nine out of ten. It's a gorgeous scent. That deviation to apple was a genius move because yes, everybody does love the coconut and the, the florals and the creamy note and everything. But putting adding that apple over there was just amazing. Nine out of ten. And the celebrity I thought was Emily Blunt. Like she has this like, I don't know why, I feel like she smells very nice. She must smell like a little coconutty, little tropical, creamy, like probably wears like a lot of lotion. But that little apple note in there, it's like her uh, quirky personality, like that like beautiful energetic personality of hers. That's why I was like Emily Blunt for sure. Now I'm doing rotations. <laughs> so there's a new one from Latafa. And I think it is not readily available everywhere because it's like a very, very freshly uh, launched perfume but the packaging for this guys oh my gosh okay so this is Emir by Latafa that's like the box so cool very pretty it's super heavy the box okay so I was like oh my gosh I can't wait to see the bottle I can't wait to see everything inside da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but it has lights inside so when you actually open the box, it, it, it lights up and presents this gorgeous fragrance bottle. And can you just see how pretty it is? Like, 
I kept opening it and closing it because I was like, you know, <laughs> and the bottle itself. So see, like that's like the lighting inside on the top. And this is the bottle. Very pretty. But uh, I know some people have phobia to something that looks like this, like hives and stuff. <laughs> I have a niece actually. That's how I know it. Trypophobia or something. I don't know what it's called. It's called some something phobia. But uh, luckily it doesn't trigger that for me. It just looks like a honeycomb to me. And the bottle is like super pretty, very cute, small, but it's super heavy. What does it smell like? It smells like spices. So this is heavily leaning Middle Eastern. Heavily leaning Middle Eastern. This is leaning masculine to me, but it's unisex. I would wear this for sure. It starts off very like... Uh, Invictus, but like with lots of added spices, like it has that freshness, aquatic nature, but it's, you know, now I'm kind of changing my mind because it does smell quite masculine to me because the more it's drying down, <laughs> the more cologne kind it's getting, you know, like the fresh out of the shower man who sprays like a lot of perfume, something like Invictus uh, or Eros, you know, one of those very bro bro kind of perfume. But then it has like a lot of spices like and the spices is making it because it the spices and dust in this are done so perfectly they don't smell spicy they smell like um let me tell you the notes and you'll you'll be able to understand what i'm trying to say so it's not listed on fragrantica or anything so i can't tell you how people have received this perfume i have received it very well <laughs> it's very pleasant top notes are lemon and bergamot then you have juniper berries and clary sage so that's your opening so it's very 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 citrus and slightly like um aromatic because it has a clary sage note in it and i'm telling you like literally you smell these things right that's why i'm so happy that finally notes are making sense you know middle notes are cardamom white tea sandalwood and olibanum now all these are also making it very masculine so the top notes and the middle notes are super masculine the base notes are ambergris cashmere patchouli and cedarwood so all in all, I think this creation, they have not mentioned if it's, uh, I think they've mentioned it as a unisex perfume, but in my opinion, this is leaning, it's, it's masculine. I wouldn't give it a unisex. I take my word back. It is definitely very masculine. It smells really nice. It's a very dress up perfume. Think of aquatic notes, although they've not mentioned that, but like citrus and like really fresh notes along with that clary sage and the juniper berry. Like, like it smells almost a little pepperish as well. Then comes the cardamom, the green tea, the olibanum, you know, again, like giving it that mysterious Middle Eastern, like exotic feeling almost. And to smoothen things out, then you have the cashmere and the patchouli. Well, patchouli is not really smoothing it. <laughs> the ambergris and the cedar wood. So it does have the woody notes at the base and it smells stunning. Like I would be really impressed if I smell this on a guy. And quite frankly speaking, it was not very expensive. No, it, it was a little expensive. By the way, they've not mentioned that this is from their pride range. They just say Emir and it's like Latafa, you know, so they've not written pride anywhere. So I don't know if this comes from the pride range or not. I would classify this like a spicy woody fragrance. This uh, retails for around uh, $45 on their website. The projection is like a good three to four feet depending on how much you spray because of that little citrus thing going on it it moves really fast but the problem is like it settles down to a closer scent pretty fast after those top notes are gone so i would say like give it like a projection of two feet like initial spray would take you like four feet but then it'll slowly reduce to two feet but the longevity of this perfume is really good it gave me a good seven to eight hours on my skin and by the way on the skin it smells much better now would i wear this like no because like so many perfumes back there and then i would like not think of picking this up but i'm sure ali is gonna love it i've not tested on him yet and yes i am planning to do a video with him where he can review some of my fragrances and then he can review some of the male fragrances as well so you guys can like pick it for your better half or your for your friends or if there are any guys watching you know it'll help you guys as well so my rating for this i would give it a 9 out of 10 it is a beautiful fragrance, but I'm not like super over the top wild, but like it's a close 10, by the way. It's like really like taking me there where I'm like, should I just give it like a 10 out of 10? I think this can be worn all year round. I, I don't think it would have a season. 
uh, but it would def definitely suit a person who dresses up well. And I don't know, the celebrity that came to my mind was Hugh Jackman. I know I've given him a perfume before, I don't remember which one. But you know, his personality, he's very friendly, he's jovial, he's uh, very likable, you know. But at the same time, he's very masculine, he's, you know, I don't know. To me, he gives out like a very brother, big brother vibe. And I feel like this like would be like the perfume. He would smell like this. I don't know why I feel like this is the way Hugh Jackman would smell like. But when he's wearing a suit and everything, not like being Wolverine or something, you know. So that's your Emir gorgeous perfume. Next up is something I've already shown on my channel, sadly, because I was doing some compilations and I had to add that perfume. This is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. The packaging is like horrible, like it's so light and like literally it, it's, it's like a very normal box. So is the bottle. I kind of hate the bottle. Like I wish this bottle was a little bit more fancy. I know they have launched the Essence version of this and I can't wait to try that because I am in love with this perfume. It is a proper winter gourmand, fall winter gourmand. Like I am going to use up this perfume so much during the season because it's getting cooler in the UAE and all my if you've noticed, I've rearranged all my perfumes back there. So I, I'm trying to put them like in a way where I can categorize them in uh, spring, summer and fall, winter. If you liked Ibar by Rasasi, this is going to be like up your alley. It's an amber fragrance on Fragrantica. It's got 4.24, which is quite a bit. You know, people usually love this kind of fragrances. It's really gourmand. The top notes are apple and grapes, the middle notes of white woods, patchouli and iris, and the base notes of caramel, amber, suede, musk and peru balsam. Yes, it's very resinous. It's very like ambery. It is at the same time that caramel is like really acting up. But the apple and grape, it's more of grape. It's less of apple, which is like a welcome change than having like apple notes everywhere, like smelling like apple pie or apple cinnamon pie or something. This is not that fragrance. This is a very sweet very calming it feels like a warm blanket and then someone is hugging you on top of that blanket you know it i don't know it smells like very inviting very homely very cozy it gives me like literally like wrapped in a blanket vibe and that little cashmere in like you know you're on definitely like on uh not cashmere sorry the suede <laughs> i feel like you're sitting on a leather couch or something and then you're wrapped with this fuzzy blanket and then they're sitting next to someone who's hugging you it's really cold outside and you just cozy it up and you're watching uh netflix or something you know it's a gorgeous fragrance like i can't believe i stayed away from it for so long but the whole caramel apple thing going on i was like uh it's gonna be one of those you know what i mean like the caramelized apple or apple candy whatever you call that thingy i was like yeah i don't want to smell like that but it is nothing like that the apple and the grape like kind of like take a back seat Yes, it is the first thing you'll smell when you pick up this perfume and spray it. But trust me, it like it kind of like moves into the background. They're always there. From the beginning till the end, you can smell the apple and grape. But they kind of take a backseat and then allow all the other notes to like be in the forefront. It's very so slightly woody and ah, it's a, such a beautiful fragrance. It's just like a sweet woody fragrance. Very pretty fragrance. It's definitely unisex, but I would expect more women to wear this. It's definitely a fall winter fragrance, not your summer. Like, no, I wouldn't definitely not dare to wear this. It would claw people, you know. The projection is like two to three feet, not that projecting. But the longevity was fairly decent. Like mine, I'm sure it's like macerated like a lot because I don't think this is a perfume that's actively there in the market right now being popular, you know. Like, I don't know, maybe like fall winter now it'll pick up again. But like, I definitely got an old batch. Swiss Arabian has launched the Cities collection as well. And this is the Essence Casablanca is a part of that city's collection. I think they have, uh, I have written it down. They have Casablanca, Venice, Valencia and Dubai. So I'm very interested in the Dubai fragrance, by the way. But this one is amazing as well. My rating for this is 10 out of 10. Like it is, I literally can't believe that it took me so long to get into this perfume. And the celebrity I thought of was Tara G, Tara G P. Jensen, P. Henson. Uh, her, you know, like she like, gives out that warm like fuzzy like I feel like she would hug you and you would feel very nice and plus she smells like you sorry she looks like she smells very gourmand like she smells like caramel and like you know very very beautiful did I tell you the price for Casablanca no I did not right 
it is retailing at $55. The last but not the least is another one from Khadlaj. They were kind enough to send me this one. This is like officially, I think, not out in the market yet, or the, it is. And I, a lot of people ask me to review this because I do have the oil version for this. And they told me, get the oil version, get the spray and combine them both. And it'll last so much longer until project more. So this is the Haribal Sultan Gold, but this is the perfume version of the bottle. It opens up very nicely. The bottle is stunning, gorgeous. So beautiful. Let me take it out. That's gorgeous packaging. By the way, this is one of the most viral perfumes of 2022-23, uh, Harimal Sultan Gold. And it smells exactly like the oil but in the spray format. And I'm very happy they did this because I do not like using oils. I think you guys know already that I'm not a... Uh, I don't like using oils. But yes, taking a bit of lotion in your hand, adding a few drops of oil and then using it on your body definitely gives you like a very nice base a lot of people are doing that right they're taking some unscented oil and then they add like these uh, perfume oils in it shake it and use it but i don't do that i just want to take a little bit of um, uh, lotion any lotion that is like not scented or not heavily scented at least and then put those oils and then use it on your body you know and adding harimal sultan oil into a lotion and then spraying this on top you're gonna smell so delectable because this is like gummy bears like think of gummy bears when you open a pack of like the haribus you know you know how it smells like it's like a blast of that you know the only perfume that comes close to this perfume i would say is uh, montal's uh Mukhalat. i have that somewhere oh yeah oh, yeah there it is over there the white bottle and it has a similar vibe like i remember in childhood we used to have these erasers and they would smell strongly of perfume and they were very fruity uh, ones you know and this one is like the opening is exactly like that but the weird funny thing about this perfume and why it became so popular is because you know it changes gradually throughout the day and it's very weird because the first quarter of the day you'll smell like gummy bears and this candy fruits kind of uh, scent but then it starts moving to florals and then it starts getting musky towards the end of the day. It is like really weird how this perfume changes throughout the day. Let me tell you the top notes for this. This is not listed on Fragrantica, by the way, as a perfume, but as a oil, it is definitely listed. The top notes for this are bergamot, jasmine and peony. Middle notes of pineapple, plum and peach. And the base notes of musk, sandalwood and patchouli. But when I smell this... Literally, I feel like candy. It's candy or Haribo gummy bears or any of those 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 uh, uh, worms. I don't know what you, you know. I'm addicted to those, by the way. So if God forbid, if I have one of those, I'm just gonna go on a spree and whole day I'm gonna eat those. And it really upsets my stomach, by the way. That's why I avoid them like the plague because they're very addictive, right? You have one, especially the ones which have that salt on it. And then you can't stop eating them. And the, by the end of the day, I have like a severe bloat on myself. My stomach totally goes for a toss and like, it's like regrettable, like having those and the pain is not worth it. Now, if you remember the bottle of the oil, let me show it to you. So this is like the actual bottle. By the way, a lot of people are receiving fake ones. Guys, be careful. Like it should have like at the bottom, it should have this uh, Khadlaj mark. It should have like, Khadlaj written on the front, Harimal Sultan written in Arabic. Just try and like take a screenshot and you know. And the bottle is so similar. Like look the top, you know. So gorgeous. And I actually quite like the bottle because it has these very sharp crystal edges. And I, I you know, stunned, stunned. And this perfume is like an easy wear. But I would call it like a spring summer fragrance. And the oil and the perfume smell like exactly the same. This is just like the spray version. So you can expect the concentration to be much lesser compared to the oil. But layering this together, you're good for the whole day. You don't have to respray, do nothing. And this is for me like a very going out with your friends. Like uh, there are mimosas and like, like a brunch with the girls, you know, or a day out shopping with the girls, like somewhere where you're having a lot of fun. It's a very fun, youthful fragrance. Is it juvenile? Yes, slightly, but it's, it's like the Mukhalat juvenile. It's juvenile, but you want to wear it, right? It doesn't smell like cheap candy or something. It smells like nice. It smells, 
attractive. It's also like some people call it sexy, but I don't think this is sexy. Although Ali does like this perfume on me. This is like perfectly fine to wear on casual occasions. Uh, this is definitely not a dress up perfume, but yes, if you're dressing up, it's for a girl's day out, you know, for a brunch or something. I think it's super pretty, it's super fresh and I can't wait to wear this during spring summer because in Dubai, you need more perfumes that are fresher and not like caramel or like heavy based, although I prefer those gourmand fragrances. This is also gourmand, but it's a different type of gourmand, right? It's a very, very fruity one and fruity fragrances are not normally categorized as gourmands. So yes, it is like an edible perfume. It smells like you want to eat uh, gummy bears or the sour worms or the sour patch kids or something like, you know, one of those uh, uh, candies. And it just makes you feel, it uplifts you, it instantly puts you in a good mood, it instantly makes you feel happy and like you feel like you're a little playful, like you know, youthful and that's the word, youthful, it makes you feel youthful. For me, this is like a 9 out of 10, it's a gorgeous perfume, it's very different. Now, if you're not fond of smelling like candy or f very strong fruits, this is not for you guys. So if you do not like fruity fragrances, don't come near it, this is like fruity fragrances like the epitome of it you know but it's a beautiful stunning perfume i love it for me this is a 9 out of 10 did i give a um, celebrity to this perfume before let me think this is a very girly girl perf perfume so i need to think about somebody who is girly girl but at the same time can pull something or something like this off because it's not kiddish so i cannot give it to like a child you know this is definitely like a girly scent though it's feminine like for a man i don't know if he layers it with like something really strong like leather or something or tobacco or something it might work you know as a layering fragrance to add some freshness to a perfume but like on its own it's a very girly girl perfume the projection is like a good two feet longevity is like around six hours and the price point if i'm not mistaken this is around 35 dollars although i've not seen it online so i i'm not too sure if i see a link i will put it in the description box below so guys, that's it for today. It was all like amazing finds. I'm very happy with all the perfumes I've reviewed today. Like none of them were like, oh my gosh, what have I just smelled, you know? And they all were so different from each other, which is what I loved. There was a coffee scent, then we had like the, the tropical scent, and then we had like the spicy male fragrance. <laughs> then you had the caramelly thing, and now you have the fruity one. So I think that was like a good mix of... Uh, variety don't you think <laughs> guys by the way i'm planning to do like the 12 days of christmas or like i don't know i'm gonna try and do the 25 days so every day i'll be posting one till christmas from starting from december 1st if not i'll at least try and do like 12 days to christmas you know and like try and make like videos on daily basis but like short ones maybe like 15 20 minutes so it's not overwhelming for you guys to watch me on daily basis <laughs> <laughs> like see me stop we don't want to see you again you know? so i'm gonna try and do that i'm gonna try and make shorts as well more of them so that it's like quicker versions of the perfumes i review but quite frankly speaking i need time i need time to like actually sit and review stuff and go through them and then actually like communicate them to you properly so that you're not deceived or miss or i'm misunderstood in any way you know so that's it for today guys smell good and let me know if you've tried any of these perfumes i'm sure casablanca has been tried by a lot of people harimal sultan i'm sure it's tried by a lot of people but the other new ones have you ever tried it and how was it for you until next time guys see ya bye <laughs>